Hello everybody, what is up? This is OCAP Universe, and today I'm bringing you guys a Battlefield Hardline Beta. This is a closed beta right now, so for those who signed up and actually got in, congratulations, you guys made it. But, to those who actually are playing it right now, it's really not what we expected, is it? Right now, it's okay, but I mean, there's still a lot of improvements to be done. A lot. And these guys right here just shot me, so of course I'm gonna go chase him down and kill him, cause fuck it. I seriously don't know how that guy blew up. Maybe it was my amazing. Oh, wait, he didn't blow. I think he escaped. I've got some fucker on my ass trying to kill me, trying to blow me up. And this guy just rams me out of nowhere, just rams me, and of course he kills me. Still chasing me, but it's okay. That's what Battlefield's about. So pretty much this game, little, it's uh, pretty much cops and robbers, honestly. One team is the cops trying to stop the other team from robbing, that would be heist. In heist, uh, cops try to prevent the robbers from taking the money back to their holding spot, I believe. I'm not really sure, but I think that's what it is, because I've only really played Blood Money, which this is what I'm playing right now, Blood Money. Because honestly, this takes this takes a lot more time to play. Blood money, not blood money. Heist. I actually played for the first time yesterday, and literally the game was over in five minutes. Honestly, don't know how my team must have sucked, but I don't know. It was so short, and that's the problem with this new game. Game modes are so short, and that's just one of the many things that are pretty much wrong with this game. One of them is that these are such small maps I mean super small you could run across the map in about three minutes this is the end of the this is the edge of the map right here on our base and if you walk I don't know a good three minutes you'll be at the other base it's not far at all really really close it's what makes it worse is it's only a 32 player game so far I'm not sure if it's because if it's a beta or because this is how the original is going to be, but hopefully it's not. I love to see 64 players on a map because that just makes it more fun and you see more people coming around the corners. Like this, you have, I'm just so used to playing Battlefield and Call of Duty that you have to watch your corners. And here, you can just pretty much do whatever you want and run like crazy and not run into anybody. This is a spot I always, always walk around, run around, just to see if I can find anybody, because this is really the only spot they're at, besides their base. And this is the best spot to come at the beginning of the game, because this is where everyone collects money before they even have it at their, at their little trucks. So if you want to get some good kills, come here first. Skip everything else, come here first, and make sure you get a good spot, because that's how you're going to get the most kills in this game. I mean, I got first place in kills in this game, in this in this game and it was only 12 no one else got close I mean one guy got close with nine kills but that's about it so if they could add more players that'd be amazing another thing we need to fix is actually the massive frame drops that you get I mean I have a pretty good computer I mean I have a i7 4770k with a uh, with the uh, GTX 770, which is pretty good. I mean, I run around with that when I'm not recording. 120 frames per second, 110 average. But when I start recording, it drops to a good 80. I mean, Fraps takes up a lot of energy and a lot of CPU power. Which, that was major bullshit right there, how he killed me. I don't know how he killed me. All those shots were dead on. But, it's Battlefield. And also, the new helicopters. There's... Well, they're kind of new. I mean, the, the little bird they renamed to the patrol helicopter. And one of the cool things I love about the new helicopter is you now have two gunners, not just one. That guy just got demolished. Either by, it was either going to be by me or he's going to get cut with the rotors of that helicopter. But that, what you just saw, was the new patrol helicopter. You have, two, like I said, two gunners on it. Whoever's flying, he's got one machine gun. He's got one pair of machine guns, just like the old little bird. And then you also have a gunner, like you did on the other attack helicopters in Battlefield 4. So not only do you have one, but you have two, so you have twice the killing power. Which really, in this beta, doesn't really do anything since you it's really hard to find anyone.
This is probably one of the best spots so far. Instead of up there. I mean, that up there is pretty good too, but you really don't see anyone. Unless they're running across going to our vault, which is just up there. But it's still a pretty good spot, but everybody really knows about it, so I wouldn't recommend going up there. I mean, here's pretty good because you get lots of view. You get 360 degree view. You get inside, and you can turn around and get some kills too if you can see them on top of the roof. And I saw this guy just a little bit ago running around. And the cool new thing about this game too is the new hit markers. When you get headshots, the hit markers turn red, so you know you got a hit marker, and that's pretty cool. I mean, I would love to see more hit markers that turn red like that. It's just a lot cooler to see. See, I'm right here. I'm having trouble finding anyone. There's no one left. I don't know how he died. And there's no one around. And it may look like I'm camping, and honestly I am, because... I don't know, there's just not enough people, and this is where everyone comes to. This right here is the new spray painting, actually. I don't know why they included spray painting when they could have focused on developing something else, like bigger maps. It's still pretty cool, but I mean, obviously there's going to be some limitations into what you can spray paint and what you can put on the walls and stuff like that. I got a weapon server star after one level. That's pretty cool, I mean. So pretty much, if I didn't explain it earlier, the object of the game is to get as much money in your bank account, in your bank vault, as you can. You have a limit of $5 million to win the game. Everybody is rushing to not only the money pile, like you saw right there in the middle, but also to the opponent's base, because you can steal money from each other's base, which is pretty cool. I mean, if you're getting close, like, we're getting close right now to winning because we got $4.8 million and they've only got $1 million. So, they could really go, they could technically go to our bank vault and steal everything from us and they could win. Which, I don't think would happen because I've got this shit on lockdown. So this is what I'm talking about. I wish you could rappel up to those windows up there and just rappel in and swing in and start shooting. But... We'll just have to see in the next beta, which comes out late September, early October, right before the beta, right before the actual full game comes out. I seriously love this gun. It's one of the best guns right now. This is cool. They added perks to the system now, so you can. Oh shit! Where did he come from? What the fuck? And his buddy comes out just making it rain with money lagging all over the place but like I was saying oh shit so this is what I'm talking about this is really bad frame drops for a second when the crane falls it's pretty bad lucky you can't fall through that or I would have been done not only like grenade damage, but also falling damage. But yeah, this is pretty much the game. It's alright, I mean, if you guys still want to sign up for the beta, there's still a chance you can get in, because I'm pretty sure there's stress tests in the servers. So, I'm pretty sure you have a good, good chance. So, if you guys really like this, just make sure you guys go to the EA website and sign, this, and sign up for this game, because... I'd rather have you guys play the beta before you actually did it, before you actually committed to buying it. So, if you guys like this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you guys want to see more like this, because I'm starting more, many more series. So, anyways guys, thanks for watching, remember to like and subscribe.